What's up? Welcome to the Physique Development YouTube channel. As of late, we've shown you our awesome home gym, the reasons why we have that home gym, and now I want to show you the attachments that we use within our home gym. There's a lot of different attachments and they have a lot of different uses, and I'm excited to show you guys why we use each piece specifically. If you're wanting to purchase any of the pieces that we talk about, they will all be linked in the description below. Let's hop in. So the, the first one here are going to be, I think these are considered uh, ankle cuffs, harboring, harbing, harboring. They're on Amazon. I, they're, they're pretty inexpensive. I don't use them as an ankle cuff. I actually use them as more of a using this to hold on to. Um, I find this to be a little bit more comfortable for me because if I am performing a, like a cross cable lateral raise with the cables, it gives me a little bit of an easier opportunity to not be banging the uh, black balls together. <laughs> There's no better way to put that. So that's what I use them for. Then the next thing is going to be a, a single rope attachment with a, a fat grip on the end of it. Uh, what I use this for mostly is going to be a cable hammer curl. I like the thicker handle for this with the fat grip on it rather than without the fat grip because I feel as though as your weight gets heavier, your hand just gets beat up by this thing. So why not just challenge your forearms a little bit more to hold on tighter and not get the top of your hand beat up. We can use it for uh, like a single hand uh, tricep extension, something along those lines, but that's the main use for, for this piece. I prefer this more often than not than an actual rope itself. You'll see that we do have a, a longer rope here, which is still not going to be great for me personally and when I'm performing tricep extensions, but can be useful for someone with a little bit of a smaller frame as they're performing tricep uh, pushdowns or extensions like Sue. So with this, this is useful. You could also do ab crunches and those different things with this piece. Then we have the IPR Fitness. This is a little bit easier for like a lat pull down. Uh, the, the length of this is fantastic in terms of uh, trying to get through a greater range of motion where you're trying to work through the frame of your body. So like a, a cable pullover, tricep push down that we just talked about. This could be an option here for you. D handles, everybody loves their D handles. I'm gonna put these back. I absolutely despise when the, the D handle is squishy. Drives me insane. If I grab it and then I feel like I'm just like gonna crush it, I hate that. So these are, the brand is called Spud Ink. These are very just hard plastic for the D handle and it makes the uh, experience in terms of like really generating force through a curl or through a fly or through a press much more comfortable relative to those squishy ones. <laughs> I don't have a better name for that, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Those cheap ones that is at your local Lifetime Fitness that is like has a handprint because it's been used so many times and it's like stained. Not what I want. Then. We have my favorite company is back, baby. And this is their rotate handles. This piece of equipment is going to line up mechanically with your hand really nicely. So you're going to have this top part here. You're gonna place your thumb there and then you're going to be able to wrap your hand around very nicely. And it's going to take a lot of the strain off of your forearm and be able to really pull much nicer. And the piece that goes along with this is going to be the prime short bar. The beautiful thing within the short bar is that it is very versatile, where uh, if I'm trying to perform maybe a neutral grip row, I want that to be at shoulder width for me. And this could be different maybe for myself, it's at this length, um, or maybe for Sue, it's at this length. And so it allows for us to use the same piece of equipment, but be very versatile. I think that a lot of this uh, specifically, let's say that you're at a, a public gym, for example, and you have the opportunity of like, man, the whole gym is packed, I've got this one cable, what can I get done? And you have, you have this, you have the maybe some D handles or the rotate handles, you can get a lot done on that single cable because of the versatility that this piece gives you. So highly, highly recommend this piece and they also have a long bar that's just going to be a little bit wider. I have a jump rope. I use this jump rope all the time. Miguel, cut to me using this jump rope. Oh, this is, oh! Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Are you impressed? I, I know you're impressed. This is used with the, the thought process that I'm going to get my workout started by jumping rope, getting the blood flowing. Yep. Has that happened? 
Not yet, there's still time. And I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna overcome the fear of using this or more consistently using this in the future. The next piece is going to be back from IPR. This is what we utilize for the cable kickbacks. So I find this to be the absolute best attachment when performing a glute max or glute med kickback. The reason being for that is that you're able to apply force through this bottom strap, where with many of the ankle attachments that you're going to have for glute kickbacks, it's just going to go around the ankle. And so as you're kicking back, that uh, strap or, or band could slide on the leg. And so your force production is going to decrease. And I wanna get the most out of every time that I'm performing a repetition. And so by having this strap under the foot, it allows for you to get every bit of that force that you're generating. So pretty inexpensive piece. Bands and make her dance. Bands and make her dance. Okay, we have lots of bands. <laughs> these are all from Elite FTS. I will be honest with you all that we do not use these a ton. Um, we use them a little bit for hip banded uh, RDLs. The entire pack that we have is the Mountain Dog pack from Elite FTS for all the bands. So um, if they have that in stock there, this is all the bands that you would get for that. And the final attachment that's over here is the daisy chains. So with daisy chains, I believe that these are for uh, hikers. I think they utilize it for um, much th like things that are going to put their life at much greater danger than me in this gym. But how I utilize this is that it can lengthen the cable. So if I'm wanting to use this, because of the weight that is being pulled, the like this cable here is going to be double the length of this cable. And so this is gonna carry more load, but maybe I'm doing something where I'm doing a pull down or something of that nature, and this cable is not going to be long enough to do so. And so by utilizing this, I can put this in here and elongate that cable, and this will be sturdy enough to be able to still generate force through, be able to pull high amounts of load, all of that fun stuff. I use this piece very consistently and it is a gym pin. So with this piece specifically, let's say that we have maxed out the stack here, as you can see. Um, we're super duper strong and we can do 350 pounds. What this does is that we can plug this in and then add more plates on top to add more load. Before we got that piece, I would get to the bottom of the stack and be frustrated that I couldn't go up. We got this piece and you can add, I think up to like 345s, depending on how thin they are on it. So I'm good weight wise, I, I promise. And then we have the lat pull down bar, the bar that everyone <laughs> has, has decided over the last year to hate. Um, this bar still has use, I, I promise, it still has use. If you have a, a fixed bar, it's not the end of the world. Um, but to train like an upper back pull down, we use this piece. Uh, we don't use it a ton, but it still has use. So use this for the, the upper back pull downs. Back to my favorite company. This is the Prime 4-in-1 handle. And so this is a, a really versatile piece and you're able to adjust the handles um, and create different hand placements. So you have a semi-supinated hand placement that you can have here. Then you have a neutral hand placement that you can have. Then you have a semi-pronated, if I can find it, there we go, semi-pronated uh, positioning, and then you have a fully pronated positioning uh, for this. So you can do a lot of different types of rows and pull downs with this piece alone. It's another one of those situations where if you've only got a cable and the gym is packed and you're just trying to um, get as much done in that singular station, you can use this piece and get a lot of different movements done um, by just simply changing the hand placement and the angle that you're pulling from and all that fun stuff. Some pretty awesome attachments, huh? Some that you've probably used within your gym and maybe some you haven't even seen before. And I'm sure you're gonna grab those for your next gym session. If you're wanting to see more videos on the home gym, let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, go ahead and make sure that you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll see you in the next video. Yes! Yeah! I did it! I did it! I did it!